Hi, this is a demonstration of automated payroll with GPS tracking and image capture project. So this is an advanced system that allows the employer to monitor outdoor marketing employees. You know, if a marketing company sends employees outdoors for work, so this allows the employer to monitor them, uh, the monitor their route, whether they are going to the right place and also keep a watch on any employee who is doing outdoor work for the company and uh, we also have an image capture functionality here that allows him to check whether uh, the same person is going for work or he has uh, sent his phone to uh, to someone else so to achieve this uh, functionality uh, we will be using an android device here the android device consists of an android app that we made to uh, constantly transmit the coordinates the GPS coordinates of the person to an online server and on the online server through our web system we monitor and record those readings for that particular uh, employee and also the system uh, needs the employee to get an image a self image while uh, logging in and logging out and this is also transmitted to the server so that the server on which the HR as well as admin we have two logins they can operate and check the employee details as and when desired and also check the employee report online using the system so let's see how the system works so here we have uh, two options of uh, login and credits uh, so if you click on credits uh, it will show the details of uh, the student names and uh, the faculty name or the supervisor name and you can enter all the details over here and uh, if you go back and if you select uh, login it will uh, ask you option for uh, the user id and the password uh, so you have to enter your it's uh, and my password and I'll say submit. Yeah. I'll say submit. So if uh, it's a correct login, uh, if the login details are correct, uh, then it will click uh, the image. And if it's a save, and uh, it will show your employee ID. And if you say next, it will ask you to enable your location. So let's go to that and then we'll select next so this will send my, my image uh, on the server and then it will continuously send my latitude and longitude uh, positions to the server uh, so if you can just uh, lock the phone and keep it aside and you can proceed with your work and uh, this application will uh, send your location details to the server and when you say log out it will again click your image uh, using the camera and it will again send that image to the server and then you can say logout so this is how the employee process works so now let's see the admin module so here we have uh, two options of admin login and hr login so let's select admin login so you have to enter the admin id and the password so my id the password and i'll say login so this will give me these options of add employee, view location, check salary and view image. So you have to enter all the details of that employee to register him into the system. And next is view location. So you have to enter the employee ID and say search. So that's uh, my employee ID. And if I say search, it will show me the name of that particular employee and to check the location I have to enter the date in this particular format that's MMDD and YYY so the date of which I want to check that employee's particular location and then you can see that uh, map uh, opens and it will show you the location of that particular employee uh, so you can just verify with the worksheet which you have and that's uh, the work of uh, this uh, check location part so you can see that uh, this particular place has been done work uh, in this places so, uh, so let's check a view image so here you can just enter the employee id that's one double zero one 
and then you can just so let's enter the employee id and the date of which i want to check that uh, uh, image so we will say search and you can see that uh, the image was this which we sent to the but uh, normally it would be an image of that particular employee mm. next is uh, check salary so to check salary of that uh, employee you can just enter its details it's from date to date so let's say this is the starting date and it's the ending date uh, for a month or weekly basis or you can just perform anything and you can just enter the paper uh, paper days amount that's 200 and this is the days when he has attended uh, or he has uh, done the work so 200 into one day is it's 200 so it will say show you 200 only uh, if the typical employee has worked there for 7 to 8 days it will show you calculation on that basis so next we have is uh, change password so if you want to change the password of uh, any employee so you can just uh, enter the id and the whole password and if it's right it will uh, let you change the password or if it's uh, or it doesn't match it will show you password doesn't match so this is how you can just change the password, old password, new password and then update. So this is the admin part. Let's check out the HR. So HR has its own ID and the password. So it's ID and the password and then see login. And HR has uh, options of uh, view location accelerate and view image of the employee uh, which is same as the admin modules so to check location you can just enter the employee details that's the id and the data of which you want to check that uh, details so the date and say search and you will be showing that uh, employees work progress for that particular date and can just verify that and let's go back. and you can just check the salary of that particular employee by filling the details id from date to date and paper days this is 100 and then there is the number of days worked and the total salary so if you go back and if you want to view image of that particular employee on that date you can just go to that id date and say search and you will be shown the image so this is how the system works thank you